Welcome to this edition of Rock's Kitchen. It's your boy Rock coming at you with another meal that is VSG friendly. VSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, better known to the world as weight loss surgery. That's just one vehicle that you can get in to get to that destination, better known as weight loss. All right, doesn't matter which route you take, doesn't matter what vehicle you take. You can get in a car, get in a boat, take a plane. We're all trying to get to the same destination. Now, I'm here to help with our weight loss recipes. Let's get into what we're doing today. Today, I think you're gonna love it. What we have going on today is I'm combining some of that tastiness of New Orleans and I'm bringing in that Italian flavor. So we're gonna combine it with a little Cajun Alfredo. Now Cajun and Alfredo, we're gonna spice it up a little bit and then we're gonna have that little creaminess. So you've all seen where I've had this, this sauce that I've been making. We're gonna to try to plug that into a lot of recipes because it's a great sauce, great comfort food. Um, and I've shown you how to make it time and time again. Just dig into the archives and you'll see. Or you can end up going on rockskitchen-rk.com to order them. Big plug right there. New website, please join it. Go in, play around. Let's make it happen. Take these items. We're gonna put them all on one sheet. That's what you guys have told me and expressed that you guys are looking for a one sheeter. So it's just that simple. So we're gonna take our chicken. Peppers are gonna join our chicken. All right, so now we got that going. Spread it out a little bit. Oops. We got our chicken, got that going on. Now, as you can tell, I did, I did wash my hands. I wanna specify that because I get a lot of viewers that do ask, why is he touching the chicken? Then he's touching us. This is what's called the pause button. When you see me flash and come back, hands are wet, hands are dry. Okay, so now let's get our season. We're basically gonna, gonna take, take a little bit of olive oil in there, yes. Yes, a little olive oil. And then we're gonna take, I'd probably say about maybe two to three teaspoons. And even that, honestly, looks like a lot. I'm gonna go with two, because I don't wanna make it too spicy. Now, this, this is a great spice blend, but I don't want to get my kids, they, they're not spicy like me, I'm spicy. So this has a little oregano in it, has a little basil in it, um, some thyme, some cayenne, has a little bit of paprika and some salt and pepper. Now here's the key here is that, as you can tell, now this seems like a lot, but what you're doing is you're controlling, you're controlling the salt in this. All right, and that's important because salt is the, the enemy. It's gonna put, it's gonna retain that water, it's gonna get you a little heavier. That's not what you wanna do. So this is an excellent way of retaining, excuse me, of eliminating some things and controlling it. And this too is gonna be available on the new website as well. Plug. All right, let's dig this right back in. Let's just swing this around. Now your oven itself is gonna be, it's on four, I'd say it's gonna be on 400. You're going to have this chicken in there for probably about 15, 20 minutes. Now, here's the deal. We already have our spaghetti squash in there because that's what's going to accompany this. The spaghetti squash. We're going to end up, I say about half hour with that. Or you can cheat and put it in the, in the microwave and knock that out in about 15, 20 minutes as well. And then you can put it all in one dish because that's what we're going to do. So I've already got this all prepped. Let's go ahead and throw this right in the oven in just a second. All right, so we got this all taken care of. Let's go ahead and throw this in the oven now. We already have our spaghetti squash in here, as you can tell. It's been in here for about 15, 20 minutes. Again, didn't think I really need to show you how to do a spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is very simple. Cut it in half, take out the seeds. Once you take out the seeds, scoop everything out. And then we, all I did was drizzle with a little olive oil. I put a little salt, a little pepper on it. And then I, I actually put a little bit of garlic on there as well because I like that hit. So, and then you just put it face down right in the oven. It takes probably about a half an hour. So that's a small one. So probably about 20 minutes to about a half an hour. Then you're just gonna scrape that out, put it all on together with the chicken and the peppers and your meal is complete. So when I come through again, when I pull this back out of the oven, we're gonna have a completed meal just like that. All right, let's see what we got over here. Now, got our chicken nice and done. Look at that right there. Good gracious, look at it. I'll let you ponder that for a second while I bring out our spaghetti squash, too. Our spaghetti squash is done. Our chicken is done. All right, what we're going to do now, we're going to mix our chicken into the bowl here. 
if you guys could smell that Cajun, that Creole, if you will, all those spices. I really just want to take these peppers off of the thing and eat them right now. So now we're going to take our sauce that we made. Now, the thing with our sauce that we made, this is a low carb, low fat, uh, uh, comfort food. This is what I like to call it. Haven't gotten a name, so I want you guys to name it out there. What we have in here is some Neufischel, uh cheese. We have some, what else do we have? Uh, oh, we got some garlic. We got a whole bunch of things in here. I'm not going to give you the whole recipe, but you'll see that I made it. It was quick, fast, and easy. Again, things that we like to do here at the kitchen. This is your, your about 189 calories is what this is. Four servings or so in this bottle. We're going to pour it right on here. We're going to mix it in has a low fat content to it too, and it has about three grams of uh, protein in it too. So you're adding to your protein mix that you need. So we'll go ahead and pour it right in. Now I did about half right now, just to, to get it in there, move it around, let all that play together. I mean, you can add more if you want. For me right now, this is plenty. We're gonna take our spaghetti squash. Now, this is a good four servings, these, these two here. So I'm gonna use about half. Look how easy that comes right off. Comes right off. Now, I'm gonna stop right there. Get yourself another fork if you need. And we're simply gonna plate this right there get a little bit more here and right there our chicken and peppers I'm gonna put it right on top you want again for you newbies out there about three ounces four ounces of chicken and that's it right there it is the time that I've been waiting for. Now, if you wanted to put more saucy, how the, the mix it up a little bit if you wanted to. Just gonna grab a little bit of that. Ooh, this is gonna burn my mouth from hot, not from the spices. There we go. I want at least one pepper on there too. Here we go. Perfect blend. Nice and savory. You got that hint of New Orleans, and then you have that hint of Italian as well. It's perfect. It's not too hot, Not the, the spices aren't too kicked up, so if you do like it spicy, you can kick it up a notch, but this is on point right here. Another recipe, another weight loss recipe right here in the kitchen, all right? Make sure you guys subscribe to our Facebook channel, Make sure you subscribe to all our social media outlets, but most importantly, visit us at www.rockskitchen-rk.com. It's your boy Rock saying, two fingers, type 2 diabetes, you're gone. Heart, cholesterol, all that stuff, been cured with VSG. Gone. I've got to get right back into this meal because it tastes so god doggone good. All right, peace.